looking at editing images, so adding images to pages or posts. Uh, there's two ways of doing this. Either you can insert the image directly into the page, uh, in which case it will be uh, showing up alongside text, or the other way is to actually add a, add a physical gallery, so a collection of images uh, that will behave slightly differently. So the first thing we're going to do is just to add um, some uh, add an image in line with the other text. And to do that, you would normally go to the front the start of a paragraph. I want it to appear underneath the, the page title, um, so my subheading, uh, and then alongside my text. So I've just uh, gone along and inserted um, at the start of the paragraph, and then all you need to do is click Add Media. And you've got two options here. You can either upload an a image from your computer or from a network drive, or add use one of the images that are already on the media server. Um, as I said before, all of the professional photography shoots, well, all of the pictures from the professional shoot are on the media library. So if you want to use any one of those, you can do. I'm going to do that uh, with this image here. So I'm going to select this image. Uh, and then it asks you, uh, it has a load of information on that right-hand side. Um, and what, the only thing you really need to look at is the size. Uh, and if I click on that, you've got different options. Uh, and these sizes are in pixels. So the default is medium, and that's probably a good one to go for. Uh, so that's going to be 300 pixels wide by 170 pixels high. So that's selected, and I'm going to insert that into page. And then what you'll see is that that image is, is then uh, inserted where we want it. The problem you don't see is that it is, is that the actual uh, the text is below the image. What I actually want it to do is appear alongside the image. And to do that, you need to click on the image first of all, uh, and then you'll see these two options here. So if I click on again, this will remove the image. Or to still just to delete the image, or I can go in there and edit the image. I want to click edit. Okay, so I've clicked on edit, uh, and what I want to do is it gives a little preview of how the image is, how many image lines up with the rest of the text in the body. At the moment, the reason that it's it's displaying above the text is because there's no alignment set. If I click align to the left, which is what I wanted, uh, you'll now see that the text wraps alongside the image. Um, one of the problems with this is the is the spacing between the image and the text, uh, and to do that, we do one little thing under advanced image uh, advanced settings. Sorry, at the top you can see here, uh, and what we want to do is add some vertical and horizontal space. So under vertical space, I'm just going to add vertical space of 10 and horizontal space of 10, and as you can see to the preview, what's happening is you'll see now that the text is is got a bit of padding. Uh, both on the side and underneath, um, so the image kind of displays floats better in the page. Um, if I just update that at the bottom, so I'll click update, and now you can see the image is nicely kind of set up in the page. So that's how you would insert an image normally within a page. Uh, the other option you've got is sometimes you know if you've been out on a school trip or you've got a lot of pictures that you want to display either within a page or a post, you can add a gallery. Uh, and to do this, it's a similar kind of way. I'm going to add a gallery underneath the rest of my copy. So if I just hit a couple of returns, I create a new paragraph there. Uh, then I go back to um, at the top, back to Add Media again. And one of the one of the one of the options on this left-hand side is Create Gallery. So if I create gallery, I then have the same two options. So I can either upload uh, multiple files, or I can select multiple files from the media library. So if I select this one. And as you can see, I can multiple select files by just clicking on them. Uh, so we'll choose those ones. That's eight. And then at the bottom right, you just click, click Create New Gallery. It then gives a preview of the gallery where you can add a caption to the image. Um, most of the time, we won't bother because most of the image is kind of self-explanatory. But you have got the option of adding it if you want to. Uh, and then you've got a couple of things on the, on the gallery settings that might be useful. What I tend to do is link to the media file at the top. Uh, so when they click on it, they actually view the image rather than going to another page to view the image. Uh, and then it's the number of columns that you want uh, to have within your, your gallery. Five tends to work quite well um, on the on the, the pages. Uh, and that's it. And just click Insert Gallery. Uh, and that's what it looks like. So you won't actually be able to view the images until you preview the page. Uh, but you can see that it's now showing up underneath uh, the main copy for the page. So if I then go back and preview, I click preview, so it should show my test page. Just give it a second. OK, 
Okay. Okay, and this is a preview to the content. It's just loading up. Okay, so as I scroll down, you can now see my example content with the image uh, lined up on that left-hand side, floating nicely. Uh, and then you can see uh, the photo gallery, uh, which is made up of all the different images that I have. It might actually be worth using four columns instead of five, thinking about it. Five might be a little bit too many, as there's no gap between them. Uh, but if I click on that, then then goes through to the image. Okay. And that's it. That's, that's how you insert images, both within a page and also within a gallery.